सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ वाटर स्प्लैश एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी ऐड ऑन गाइस सी दैट्स माय रियली कूल स्प्लैश वाटर एनिमेशन राइट एंड गाइस क्लिक ऑन हियर दैट्स माय फाइनल रेंडर प्रीव्यू या सी दैट्स रियली ब्यूटीफुल राइट एंड गाइस नाउ सो गो टू ऑन आफ्टर इफेक्ट एंड सी गाइस दैट्स माय फाइनल वर्क या इट्स ब्यूटीफुल so guys now i teach you how i create this type of effect so guys stop and guys i create new composition new project check and guys go to on blender and same new project so don't save check okay so guys now select all and press delete key so firstly guys i use blender kit add on for 3d object so guys click on here and type your any letter like fanta enter Yeah, see guys, that's my coding can and click. Yes, see guys, that's my can and guys now select all. So press A letter and increase scale size. See guys, that's my scale size. Scale size increase like this. Yeah, right. Okay, so guys, next one. I take this time, guys. Use here. I use UV sphere and UV sphere scale size change. so scale size change like this yeah and guys right click shade smoother so guys now i take camera and guys press alt control and press zero so guys select your camera and rotation 90 zero and zero and guys see that's my location x1 i like zero and y change and guys i like z1 1 and guys little bit back like a minus 8 is good yeah and guys select your sphere that's my tiger so guys go to our out of frame like this right see guys that's my location like a minus 3.5 minus 3.5 enter and guys duplicate this sphere so guys press control c and v so go to on here and guys select your sphere like a 3.5 yeah right Okay, so guys, next one. I take cube for domain, and guys increase scale size like a five, five and five. Yeah, and guys click on here. That's my wireframe. Yeah, good. And press zero. So guys select your cube and little bit up. Yes, right. Okay, so guys all is good. And now guys this time I apply this time guys some orange three D model and use Blender Kit type orange. Enter and see guys that's my 3D model guys it's free so guys select and simple drag and drop yeah and guys see that's my orange set go to our here out of frame and guys right click select object and increase scale size like this so guys go to our back here and press camera check so guys go to our closer okay so guys now. Select your domain, this one, and go to on here viewport display and use wireframe. And guys, go to on here. Yes. So guys, select your orange model and right click, select hierarchy and increase scale size. Scale size increase. So go to on back. Yeah. Right. See guys, that's my object. And guys, now I take more duplicate. So press Control C and V. so go to on here and guys rotate your model rotate like this yeah randomly rotation yeah much better and go to on up yes right and guys select your this one and duplicate so press control c and v go to on here and guys closer and press zero yeah So guys, same randomly rotation change. Great. See guys, that's my composition, right? See that's my composition. And guys, select this one. Actually, guys, now I change render setting, cycle render, GPU check, and maxam five one two is good. So guys, go to on here. See guys, that's my film and transparent check. Guys, I use transparent file. So guys, click on here and guys, click on here. Yeah, that's my composition. It's looking really good. 
and guys now i apply splash effect so click on here and guys firstly select this one can and guys go to on here and fluid check and guys effector and guys sam i like 50 yeah and guys select this one that's my trigger fluid and use this time flow and flow type i use liquid and stuff stack i like two and scene select and guys flow liquid and guys use geometry behavior too yes right okay so guys now select your domain this one this one cube and guys fluid check and use this time domain and see guys that's my resolution guys best resolution i like 256 is good for me and but guys that's only total part i like 1 to 8 and see guys that's my time scale guys i create time scale animation so guys go to on like a 20 frame 20 and time scale check and guys now go to like a 21 frame and time scale like a 0 0.2 and check yeah right see guys that's my 20 frame time scale 1 and 21 frame time scale 0 0.2 and guys now go to on here see guys domain type i use liquid and guys see that's my border and all border unchecked yes and guys see that's my mesh and mesh check and see guys that's my radius i like guys that's a particle radius so guys i use 1.4 yeah and guys see that's my catchy guys catchy i like 150 frame only 150 and type i use all yeah yes see guys that's my simple settings okay so guys next one go to on here and press camera and guys closer guys this time i apply some field effect so guys firstly i use force this one force check and guys force go to on mate like this so guys z1 i like one and guys i create same force animation so guys go to on here force and guys see that's my strength so guys go to on zero frame and strength check and strength i like minus five enter yeah see guys that's my one frame and guys strength i like minus five and now guys go to like a 20 frame and strength i like zero yeah that's it guys right see that's my strength minus five and second one strength like zero okay so guys also i like turbulence turbulence check and guys position one Guys, I am not increased strength because 1 is good for me. And guys, all is good. So guys, now go to on domain. Select this domain. And guys, go to on here. Bake. And guys, see that's my end frame. I like 150. And bake all check. Guys, take lots of time for baking. Depending on your system configuration. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. Now, see guys, that's my baking. Okay, so guys select and right click shade smoother so guys go to and back and guys preview check okay see guys that's not correct yeah it's not correct so guys now i change gravity so guys go to on here domain that's my curve and guys see that's a free all check and now guys go to on weight fill weight check and gravity i use zero yeah and guys one more time bake all dynamic check yeah Okay, so guys, now I stop this baking and see guys, that's a beautiful splash water animation and guys, shade smoother check. So guys, now go to one camera, press zero and guys, click on here, render preview. Yeah, amazing guys, right? It's really beautiful. Okay, so guys, now you can apply more smoothness. So guys, select your splash water and guys, go to on here and guys, I apply this time smooth tool and guys factor i like one yes good okay so guys now guys you can change only resolution for more realistic view so guys go to on here and see guys that's my resolution i use 256 best so guys now go to back and preview check yeah amazing guys okay so guys now i apply material so guys go to on shading and guys see that's my splash water and guys i create new so guys principal bsdf delete 
and guys use add and guys firstly I apply glass select glass and connect to surface and see guys that's my roughness I like 0 0.05 and Iowa like a 1.330 yeah and guys now I use volume see guys that's my volume so guys connect to volume like this and guys now I change color for color guys see that's my color guys I like orange color like this see guys that's my like a orange color and guys color code is double F E 2 1 A enter yeah right and density I like 30 yes so guys click on here render preview yeah okay so guys next one I apply light so guys click on here and go to on here that's my word property and light guys use SDRI image so open guys I have SDRI file select and import yeah and guys next one I apply this time area light so guys go to on area light and guys go to on up so guys power like a 250 and size I like 3 yeah and guys duplicate so here that's my front light closer and rotate rotate like this guys rotation 90 enter and guys little bit up yeah good and guys go to on camera and render preview check yes see guys that's a beautiful render right it's looking really good and guys now I apply some color correction and background in After Effects so guys I show you my render setting and guys render setting so guys this render setting is good and click on here frame rate I use 30 fps and see guys that's an end frame like a 150 is good and guys output I create new folder yeah and guys any take file name accept check and see guys that's my file format I use png and press rgb alpha yeah that's it guys so guys go to on render and render animation check yeah okay so guys my render is good and guys now stop this render guys I already create render so go to on after effect and guys I create go to on project and guys go to import file guys I have this file so import so drag and drop on main com like this yeah and guys preview check yeah much better right okay so guys now I apply simple background so guys new solid layer and guys like a BG press ok go to down and guys I apply ramp effect effect and presets and type ramp yeah apply gradient ramp and guys see that smash liner to change to this one so go to on mid and guys see that's my color like a 2475 yes and guys and color same 2400 and guys like a 50 yeah see guys that's my background color yeah much better and guys next one I apply light so use this one solid layer like a light enter guys go to one effect and guys I apply optical flare optical flare so guys click on option and guys ok so presets change and guys see that's my different different style of presets select and guys see that's my different different style of presets right so select and apply yeah so guys go to on add click check so guys click on here and guys go to down yeah right see guys that's my effect lighting and guys I apply more lights so guys preview check yes guys I take more lights so guys same solid layer like a light too enter so guys that's my top light so select and guys same apply optical flare optical flare check and option check and guys now go to on presets and guys see that's my motion select and apply 
so guys go to on top like this and guys mode i use add yeah much better see guys that's my beautiful lighting and guys now guys i like adjustment layer and i apply curve tool select and apply yeah and guys increase lighting and contrast increase yes and guys now lastly i use sharp tool select and guys i apply sharp and guys amount i like 10 is good 10 yeah that's it guys okay so guys now go to back and preview check that's my final work right see guys that's my really cool like a cinematic and guys like a same advertising animation okay so guys now one more time stop and guys preview check yes okay so guys my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you